live here in the heart of Atlanta, Georgia at the beautiful OTE Arena for another night of action, man. It's game two of a doubleheader here today. Jelly Fam versus Cold Hearts. We just got done watching RWE and City Reapers, and it was a movie. And uh, if this game is anything like that, man, I am going to be excited to watch it. I'm your host, Agent Zero, also joined by my co-host, Duke Dennis. Yes, sir. And we got Jeff Teague in the building today. Man, appreciate y'all having me. I'm having a blast so far. Yeah, Jeff Teague, what are you expecting? And Duke, what are y'all expecting here today from Jelly Fam and the Cohorts? I mean, uh, the, uh, Jelly Fam, they got to come in and look to get their revenge. Because last, last week, they took an L at home. So I'm looking forward to see what, what happened. Jeff? Man, I'm excited to see Michael Brown, man. A uh, young, pure point guard. He only a sophomore, so I came here to see him. That's what I want to see. Yeah, look, Duke, you mentioned the Cole Hearts win yes, last week. That was large part due to Michael Brown and none other than Adam Umidouche, man, at backcourt. Hey, listen, man, Michael Brown and, and A.O., one of the best backcourts in the league, man. Um, both of them can pretty much get going at any point of the game. Um, I'm really looking forward to A.O. really taking the lead this time. Like, he yes. usually sit back seat to Mikel, and I'm, I just want to see him, you know, take the lead. Yeah, that backcourt is something dangerous, I'm not going to lie. Nice little combo. Both of them will need to be firing on all cylinders here today if they want to beat Jelly Fam. So we'll see what happens here today, man. Talking about the backcourt of Jelly Fam, though, Elijah Moore and Ian Jackson. Ian Jackson, he's been known to be a bucket. Elijah Moore has definitely stepped up as, like, that second man on Jelly Fam. Proud of his progression. They call him Chopper. Chopper. <laughs> great guy. He's a great guy. No, though, bro. Awesome individual, man. <laughs> awesome individual. And for the Cold Hearts, this is what the backcourt looks like. Michael Brown and Adam Omidouche. Maybe bar for bar, pound for pound, the best backcourt here in OTE. But they need to play like it, and they need to play like it consistently. So today's a chance for them to show us, man. How they, about that? They super young, too. Very young. Yeah. Got a bright future ahead of them. Should be a goodie. If it's anything like the first game, we... Let's get into the starting lineups first for Jelly Fam. Elijah Moore, Delquan Warren, Solomon Amanu, Mabil Mawut Mabil, and Ian Jackson. Hey, yo! In the air, I'm the bright lights. Back in the building, but I never left. I'ma go harder for mine to the death. We putting the pieces together, so one day we laying our pieces together. My number to say my conviction would never teach you not how to be me, but be better. Overtime will lead. Hey, we're the food, John. I'm in the race, they go get the money, I feel like I'm fast. Starting lineup for the Cold Hearts. First up, Michael Brown Jr. Samis Calderon. Trey Parker. Cannon Catchings. And at center, the big John Bowl. See so who y'all got picked, man. Look, we were wrong. Oh, I, me and Duke were wrong. In game one of this doubleheader, I can't be wrong twice. Jeff? I got the cold hearts, man. Got a guy from Indianapolis, Indiana, my hometown. So, got some family ties, basically. Okay. Duke? Cold hearts. I'm and going cold hearts. I'm going to make the safe decision and go cold hearts as well. Hopefully, Jelly Fam doesn't ruin that for me. My record is looking atrocious. Two and three, second <laughs> and update, so. Yeah, mine, mine looking bad, too. Yeah. Here's what it is. Should be a good game, though. I'm excited. Bro, with my look, Jelly Fam finna come and happen. Yeah. Best <laughs> night ever, bro. Ian Jackson's about to drop 45 points. Yep. <laughs> oh, he told me he was going crazy today. Oh, he told you that? Yeah, he told me that. Yeah, but you still didn't pick him. Ah, oh, you know, man. <laughs> Being loyal, man. <laughs> Being loyal. Yeah, the family, to, uh, the city ties. You are like mentor players? Yeah, so I'm real, real, real cool with Jahar. And uh, Kenny Ketchings, obviously me and his... Aunt right, Tamiko are really close friends. So. Okay, cool, yeah. man. Okay. Hey, man, we finna see, man. Hope Jelly Fam. Hey, I, I, I like him. 
But uh, I, ain't, I ain't trying to risk my record right now, bro. <laughs> I need my record to look good. Oh, it's already too late, champ. Remember last year? Huh? We didn't miss. I know last I year, bro. I had, like two losses the bro, whole time. Right, let, bro. Now my record look like RWE record. Right. <laughs> two and four. <laughs> two and three. <laughs> Looks like we got Tom, the fourth member of our broadcast, ready for the Adidas face-off, Tom. Thanks, fellas. I'm down here with Adamo with the Cold Hearts, Elijah Chapa Moore with Jelly Fam. Adam, you guys played last Friday. You dropped 26 points. How are you feeling playing against Jelly Fam? Feeling good. I'm ready. The same thing. Come out with energy. Make sure our team gets a dub at the end of the day. And Chapa, of course, you guys did win the next uh, on Sunday against Diamond Nose, but you obviously lost to the Cold Hearts last Friday night. What do you guys got to do tonight to get a win? Just defend. Pull out on shooters, play together, we'll be good. All right, man, we're ready to get it going. Cold Hearts versus Jelly Fam, Agent, Duke, Jeff Teague. Cold Hearts versus Jelly Fam, can't wait for it. Let's do it. Man, thanks for that, Tom. Tip off is underway. Oh, yeah. Look at that height difference. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. That is kind of nuts. <laughs> I'll be entirely yeah. honest. John Paul wins the tip. Off the top. Man, that is too easy. Hey, they can't, don't start off the game like that, man. That was five seconds, man. Come on, man. Don't start off the game like that, man. Warren kicks it. No. Does not hit the target. This Trey Parker looking to bring it back. Three-pointer called the wrong. No. Foul called, reach from Raquel. Now this is like one of the ones, like coach, coach is gonna make you run when you go to practice when stuff like this happens. Oh yeah, you can't start the game off like that. That's a little too easy, man. Warren with it. Back, Mabil gets him to jump. Nice move, Jimmy. Hey, Chad, who y'all got winning, man? Yeah, talk to us, man. Ball gets tipped, turn over. Oh, no. uh, Warren. <laughs> nah, everything missing right now. Open shots not connected by Kel with it. Oh, that's tough. Deep three. No. <laughs> He said he was going to go crazy. Oh, yeah. Yep. Pass makes it through, but not able to get the shot off. <laughs> Good reset, man, because you weren't going up with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Amanu looks like Kenny from Beta Squad. I don't know why. <laughs> I can't unsee it, man. <laughs> two, two. Twos. Two. Chad, who y'all got winning? D3 for Trey Parker. Hey, Trey Parker loved them 30, 40 footers. Yeah, he don't even shoot at the line. <laughs> it gotta be at least 30. Euro! That was a long step. Oh, man. Oh, hell. Oh, that's easy. Gets blocked at the oh, right foul Hold on, he like that? I didn't know, I know he's he like that, yeah. My dog, my dog just tried to catch on one. Yeah. I don't know if that's a foul. That ain't a foul. Nah, 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 that, that ain't a foul. He look, he got away with it right there. Free yep. two points. So Bill played some pretty good defense there. Referee disagrees. You know what's funny as like a non-athletic person, Jeff? Like it doesn't occur to me that like players get tired. Because uh, I'm not used to, like, running 92 feet myself all day versus some of the best athletes. Oh, yeah. They definitely get winded out here. When's, I'm, like, when's an okay time for you to get tired? Third quarter, uh, fourth quarter? Nah. Probably you got to get, like, that three-minute mark in the first. Catch your second win after that. Okay. Yeah. You have to pretend like you're not tired so coach doesn't sub you out. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's oh, it goes to you. There. Oh, A.O. was off the court, but no call. Nah, he, he 
Hey. Mikel was watching motivational videos in the back. He keeps going up with a full force. And here's Mikel Brown. I ain't gonna lie, he should have jumped for that. Man, cookies and I eat. He should have jumped for that. Yeah, you gotta let that go. That's tough. He should have jumped for that. Yeah, that's tough. <laughs> hey, bro, hey. And sometimes, if the pitcher took it at the right <laughs> angle, it looked even crazier. It looked crazier, so. That's tough. I think I just found my new favorite player. Oh, yeah, already? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, nah, yeah, he, he definitely, he definitely one of the ones. Jeff, you ever dunked on someone? Me, he dunked on somebody? Yeah, I caught a couple bodies. Uh, yeah, I was a highlight reel. I got up there like Trey Park. No, I'm yeah. gas. I'm not just saying. I'm like, <laughs> oh, that's John Bull. You know, John Bull was teammates and roommates with Michael prior to joining OTE. Oh, so they know each other. Yeah, hey, they're good buddies, man. You got bodies, though? Yeah, I got a couple. Oh, okay. I couldn't tell where the cap started. Nah, nah, no cap. I, I had a little bounce, man. Yeah, but did you ever get dunked on? I got dunked on by Delonte West, man. Oh, wow. Yeah. Damn. Get yeah, dunked on by Delonte West. <laughs> yeah, right. My Tom say, like, damn, though. <laughs> Don't nobody pull that up, chat. Don't pull that up. <laughs> No, uh, no one OTE production, man. It might be in the break. <laughs> and no one OTE there, bro. Put it right there. <laughs> OTE will put it on, on the jumbo trunk. That's how they rock. You ever practice a move you never like pull out in game? Yeah. Always. Always. Yeah. Uh oh. Michael, three ball. Hey, nah, John, hey, John nah. Ball is, and he down there really getting all the balls. Yeah, he's hustling right now. They got to start boxing now. That's a mismatch, mismatch. Help play, good help. He got Jelly Fan Warren on the fast break. Behind his back, lay yeah, misses. Man, that was tough, though. Yeah, they didn't look too much there. John Ball, back, call the wrong. Fade. <laughs> Watching Kobe highlights. Michael with it. Tough drive. Five seconds on the clock. Good defense, though. Amazing defense. Catching. They can't get no rebound. Yeah. Hey, yeah, now nah, they beat them on the board at, at least 10 2. At least 10 2 right now. Don't want to go down early here, Jelly Fam. There's more. Chopper. Nice hard dribble. Like he gets blocked. Hey, nah. John Ball. Nah, John hey, John Ball is, is the reason for this whole thing right now. We got to look up. Bad pass. Catchings has it, though. Back to Catchings. It's going up. Trey Parker in the, in the, oh, yeah. It, it's definitely going up. Yeah, it's going up. How did you know? I know. I could see it in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's going up. Ian Jackson. Walks it back. Corner three, fade. No error. It's, it's first quarter right now, so everybody's still getting a trying to get they touch run. And the dribble right and the pass right. Hey, Chet. Right now, I need 1K likes. If you don't like the video right now, you stay. Likes. Maybe they got to like Gets pumped and then tapped again. Cold Hearts tried saving it, but that's Jelly Fan Ball. Wide open three for Warren. A little bit of chaos on the court. And then a whistle called. Yo, come here. No, come here. No, we can't do that. No, you got it. going to go all the way to the lane. Yeah, you, everybody gotta understand because we all gotta stay there. Let's go! Oh, no, great pass. Yeah, yeah. Yo, listen, 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 y'all. Bill playing some great defense down. to start things off. 9 4 early for the Cold Hearts. What up, John? Yo, yo, yo. How you doing? That's right. Good, good. Let's get it. <laughs> I'm a little bit too big for this. 
I gotta ask, how uh, tall are you and what is your wingspan? 7'2". Okay. Yeah, 7 8 wingspan. Oh my goodness. Yup. Little Birdie told me you speak seven languages. Seven is crazy. Seven is crazy? <laughs> I only speak like five. Five's not crazy. Okay, so what are the languages? English, Swahili, Arabic, French, oh, and my native language, Dinka. Is there anyone in the league that you can guard today? There's a lot of dudes I can lock up. Okay. I'm actually good, like some Bruce Lopez. <laughs> you gonna pick the oldest man in the league? <laughs> like, like Bruce Lopez? <laughs> Got it. You think I should shave, you know, my beard? I've been growing it for two years. Yeah, you gotta let it go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's gonna grow back, I promise. I'm gonna put some hair oil in, just to give you some moisture. All right. Oh, no, that's dope. Ooh-wee. <laughs> that's right. Jeff, you think he can lock you up, man? Nah. He <laughs> don't <gonna> change. <laughs> hey, yo, missed his first layup. Hey, everybody's blowing it right now. A couple long layups, though. But Bill having a game right now. They playing with a lot of energy. Yeah. Looks like we got Tom ready with a vibe cam. Tom, what's going on? Hey, Buzz, I'm down here at Coach Pete. Yes, sir. How, how are you, Coach? Man, 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 we, we feel great. The energy is good. We just, we just not uh, converting offensively. So we got to play a little bit more. Our defense is really good. We just got to put the ball in the gut, in the hole. On, Chopper. There you go, Chopper. There you go, there you go. See, we got another bucket there, so I feel okay. But we got to push it. We know how dynamic this team is. We know Tim has them prepared. We got to come here and be ready to play. And I noticed you came out tonight. You started two bigs. You had Solo and Mob Bill. Was that, was that on purpose for this game? Man, it, man, it was on purpose for this game. We, we got to get Mob Bill started. Mob Bill has great skill, but he ain't really been getting a lot going. So I think today we want to really give him some confidence to have him play. And obviously, Ian Jackson, UNC commit, had a big game last Sunday. How's he been doing with the team? Man, he's been doing good. He had a couple of uh, faulty possessions here, but he's going to be fine. I just have to get at him, and then he's going to be fine. You guys have a very interesting relationship. You yell at him a lot. Yeah, I love him to death. You know, I love him hard. I love hard. You know what I'm saying? Are right, we getting a win tonight? Yes, need to win. We need, need a win. Need it. Yeah. For me, for me, I'm from New York. Let's do it. This is for them strictly rankings. Watch the game, please. <laughs> Back to you guys. Uh oh. Hey, thanks for that, Tom. Jeff, how do you feel about the vibe cam? Vibe cam is a vibe. <laughs> yeah, watch what you say over there. <laughs> <laughs> he just a little nosy, but other than that. Sometimes the nose is good, like yeah. when he's huddling with the referees. Give us a little bit of clarity. It's so weird seeing Tim Fanning as a cold heart, man. Yeah, it is. Oh. Deep three doesn't go. This pace is way faster than last game. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. More. Chop up, Mitty. 20 footer. No. I ain't gonna lie. Everybody's shot is all <laughs> crazy. Now, let's see if Ayo. Now on the court, like a little super sub, man. John's looking for it, gets it. That's not a foul, right? Nine eight. Cold Hearts up one. Twenty four seconds on the clock. This one might go down to the wire, man. Back-to-back -back games going down to the wire is a blessing. I hope so. Hey, yo. Receives the Ooh. inbound. Nice spin. Oh. That's not a foul. Okay, inbound. Ian Jackson walks it up. Shot clock off. 15. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Hey, Chad, do we got any real hoopers in the chat? I'm talking about real hoopers. I ain't talking about the fake ones like me. <laughs> you got to play organized to be real? Nah, nah, but like, you got to really be a hooper. Like, you got to walk in the gym with a, with a book bag and slides on, but your hooper shoes in the back, book bag. You know, them type of hoopers. <laughs> I want to see Trey Parker make some moves. Cole Hart's got so many pieces, man. Got a 
lot of potential. Five seconds on the clock. First quarter winding down. Two, one, deep shot. Hey, none. Does not connect. Look, there was a tie game at the end of the first quarter. Second quarter's gotta be good, man. Hey, look, I'm looking for a game winning buzzer beater. That's it. We'll see you at the top of the second. We want to wish you and your family a happy holiday season. Without your energy and enthusiasm, OT wouldn't be where it is now. It's the busiest time of the year, and we want to thank you for spending your time with us. We hope this season is full of love and laughter for you and your family. Happy holidays from yours truly, John Ball and the Carhartts. I always tell people, when we first got here, everybody was like, like here, like equal playing field. Like, like I remember we first, first practice at core four, nobody could even score. One thing that I learned is being consistent, you know, a routine that you can maintain. I feel like that's the most important thing. Like doing something consistently is better than like sporadically. If you come here at 6 a.m. one day, then that's it. What was the point of even coming in at 6 a.m. that one day? Everybody grows at a different rate. I just feel like you just have to run your own race. Don't worry about the person on your right, on your left, and just, you know, stay the course. <laughs> Jelly fam, surprising a lot of people and fans here at OT, to be honest. Based in the Bronx, they got three different D1 commits. There's no reason why they shouldn't be balling out every single day. They've got some tough wins, and uh, now that people have raised their expectations, it's about meeting them oh, yeah. for the rest of the season. People, I told y'all about expectations be sky high. For sure. Michael with it. I expect Jelly Pound to start getting better, though. They got Ian Jackson. He's a he can hoop for real, for real. Going to Carolina. Yep. And, uh, you know, I'm an ACC guy. I went to Wake Forest, so I feel a little way about him going to Carolina. <laughs> you wrong. Charge called. No bucket. I think they got to remove charges from the game, man. Me too. I, I, that's the worst call in basketball. Yeah, I just like it just removes some of the excitement, man. Just don't get in the way. I don't mean that, but like. Lately, it's been a, like in the NBA, it's been a lot of like dunks. They've been a race. Yeah, like, I, and they still be putting them on highlight reels. I think the rules should be if the play is really exciting, it can't be a charge. <laughs> but yeah, I, I agree with that. I take charges and pick up. Yeah, I okay. bet you do, Tom. <laughs> oh. 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 Taking a charge and pick up, I'm, I'm quitting. I'm quitting. <laughs> if you actually serious that you want that ball, <laughs> nah, bro, you got it, gang. Hey, man. Went for the steal. Ian Jackson might make him pay my bill. Oh, no. He hit daddy hoop. Yeah, he hit daddy on one tonight. Hey, no, nah, kicks pass. it to the corner. He can shoot the drone. Oh, my. Yeah, that's jinx him. <laughs> nice hop. Oh! Oh! That is not no foul, buddy. Wow. And here's the replay for the dunk from Hanon. Nice pass. Find your teammate open. Ayo hey, with a dunk. Yeah. Jeff, when did you realize you were like great at basketball? When I was like five. What? You were playing on Fisher Price nets and, and nah, hit you? I had maybe I was seven. I had 45 points correctly. <laughs> yeah, I knew I was gonna be alright. Who were you, you playing against? The same age group, yeah. seven-year-olds. Seven yeah, and then they put me in the older group. I had to play with ten and up. That's not fair. You should be able to. <laughs> I knew I was going to be all right. I was like, man. Um, man, they can't let you have fun. <laughs> nah, they took me out. Like, it was just one game? Yep, I played. Then they moved me up to the team. Trey Parker. Oh, nice he's drive. Even. Oh. Keep the oh, wow. great. Oh, 
good defense block. jump. Oh, wow. Who's the most exciting player in OT? Eli Ellis right now, maybe? Yeah, he's putting on shows. Yeah. Hey, yo, oh. that's a foul. Yeah, that was, good. that was a good shot. Bad foul. You asked him to be assertive. There you go. He made his mind up before he even touched the ball. He was shooting it. It's so mind blowing to me that there's a wireless drone in the sky. Yeah. And we can just switch to it as a camera. That's so crazy. Technology, bro. Yeah, there's AO. Man, he is a bucket. Definitely came in here with a very high profile, a star in his own right. Very, very young, so plenty of time for him to develop, but shifty guard. And a big reason why a lot of people consider the Cole Harris to be the best backcourt in OTE. Hey, yo. Next one's live. Next one's live. That AO was definitely tough. said he was tied with Romello on signing autographs. He said what? <laughs> he said he was tied with Romello on signing autographs. <laughs> hey, Tom, we got you with a 5K. What's up, man? Hey, man, I'm down here with Romello. We got a line of kids out here who want to hang out with you. How's that make you feel? It made me feel good. It made me feel like this, huh? Why, why, you guys, why you guys mess with Romello so much? You guys mess with Romello? Oh, my God. You're, you're game like Romello? Oh. You're game like Romello's? You guys lost. I'm sorry about that. You guys bounce back next week. You're all back for the kids. That's great. I love it. I'm not always back for the kids. Back to you guys. Tom, we didn't hear a single thing you were saying, bro. <laughs> hey, man, I need that replay two, three times. <laughs> man, they're fouling him. Good call, bro. Yeah, let me yeah, see. We got the replay right here for you, dude. Oh, man. Okay, boom. Oh, Has he? Oh, my Lord. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Touch Damn, I didn't even see that. Oh, he oh. touched Earth. Boom. Oh, my Lord. Lord <laughs> mercy. And he hit the shot. Hey, bro, I'm telling you, bro. He ain't going to be able to say nothing. Uh, yeah, he done for the night. They got a trap defense going. Must be an opening. Hey, yo, drop. Oh, showtime. Oh. Good game so far, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, and they played it. Oh, my. <laughs> That's crazy. Nuts. Oh, he on that back three. No. That's Cole Hart's ball. AO calling for it. Yeah, that's tough. Trap defense for Jelly Fam. Gotta start working soon before everyone gets exhausted. Rebound. Ref says Jelly Fan ball. Four minutes, 30 seconds left to go here in the first half. Been a low score on the pair, but high pace though. That ankle break was tough. I'm still oh. Yeah, that's. I oh. oh. He said he was on that tonight, man. Yeah, he owned it. What? He just. Like a Tesla acceleration speed. He just goes. So he was on there. He on there. Yeah. Nice pass. Corner. Hey, yo, wide open. Corner three. That's too easy. That's too easy. Hey, bro. Hey, yo, it's the last person you need to leave over, bro. Yeah, you let him get on fire. Good luck. Adam, who we do? Here we go. Get back at it again. Ian Jackson. Let, let Ian work, man. Nice, tough move. Rims out, though. Hey, yo, got it. Oh, no, he's feeling it. He checked. Oh, and he low, he low, he could have stopped it. Oh, man. Ian Jackson. Oh, yeah. He ain't, he ain't going to get 30. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he going for 30. Foul called. I love what I'm seeing from Ian Jackson. We know, we know the Jelly Fam is a different animal when he's firing on all cylinders, so. Get it, get it. I like to see that, man. I think he's taking a seat, but. His energy right now is at an all-time high. Yep. Playing with a lot of aggression, trying to get out in the break and score. 19-18, cold hearts with a one-point advantage. 
Anon has the ball. Almost loses it, gets it back. Bounce pass inside. Skyers, great awareness. That's our jump. The call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll get him in a second. Great defense there, man. Uh, it looks like you're saying you're retired, yeah. Jelly Pam brings it up. That's a travel. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Chopper. Back to Skyers. Rough possession. Who chat say when they ask who they got winning? Oh, no, they said cohorts. Oh, God. I can see that. Right, chat? Oh, I'm tripping. Oh, this is a good game, though. Bounce pass from German. It has the pass inside. Hey, now, that was a hey, chopper. That was a good, that was a good pass, my boy. Yell me with the slam. Man. Michael, Trey Parker. Now he doesn't shoot from there. He got back up a little bit. Yeah, back up just a tad. Hey, oh, Michael. Trey Parker got to be in the backcourt, too. I know that doesn't make sense, but he's a guard. Yeah. So technically, they're. That backboard has a lot of options. Go! Oh! Yeah, uh, good move. Wow. Called it, called it, called it. Way to be aggressive. Nice, strong move. Doing that on John Bowl is crazy work, but. You know, Eric. Mejia, Elijah, and Ian, they all played together in OSL since the eighth grade. We've seen OSL here a bunch of times in the past. You say OSL? Coming up at halftime, we'll have the first half highlights, a mic'd up feature with Jelly Fam's own Elijah Moore, and then we'll take a sneak peek inside the locker rooms for instant access. Don't miss it, man. Half court trap. They've been trapping all quarter, man. I've seen too many traps in NBA. On the clock, Michael. It's a bucket. It's a bucket. It's a bucket. Deep three. Oh, oh, yeah, that, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Called it, man. Hey, these two teams going back at it. Battle called on Trey Parker. Reaching. Bryson Tiller was my guy, but now I'm starting to lean toward it. Yeah, it's starting now. Yeah, yeah, of course. I, yeah. I figured it. Look, man, you can have like one person for each team. True, but I'm a point guard, so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. Big bonus opportunity. So it's a 5v4 right now. There was four on the three what? left. Oh. Man, he is immediately getting subbed out. Coach did not like that. Ayo got it. Ayo love the spin move to the left. Yeah, he rebounds <laughs> it. Uh oh. And John Bull hook. No. Rebound Trey. There we go. Uh, a couple people being called up from the bench. I wonder for who. Yeah, he, him right there. Yeah, he's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, he was just he just missed a wide open, uh, a wide open man. Gotta keep your head up. He dribbling, agent. Yeah. I ain't no hooper. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I'm just saying a couple seconds. Hey, it looks like Tom has Ian Jackson on the bottom cam. Hey, what's up, Ian? We're down here. Hello, Tom. I, I, I was waiting to see what was going to happen behind us. How you feeling about the game so far? Uh, I feel like we're good. Uh, we got to come on, limit some of the turnovers that we have, but other than anything else, I think we're good. I feel like you always come out real aggressive trying to score. Is that, is, do you have like a mindset or just kind of take what happens? 
Uh, I just do whatever I need to do to win. Uh, whether whether it's defending or scoring, but whatever I do that time to win is what I'm gonna do. Right, you guys got a timeout going, I'm gonna let you go with the team. Thanks, Ian, back to you guys. Appreciate that, man. Way to bother him on his break. <laughs> he gets 30 seconds and I go after him. <laughs> 28-22. Uh, let's learn a little bit more about Adamo. He was recently compared to Michael Jordan. Before we got on here, he started comparing Adamo to Michael Jordan. Okay, okay he remixing it now. Meet Adam Umidu, a.k.a. AO. The 6'5 combo guard from Arlington, Virginia, has the potential to be one of the best players to ever come out of OTE. At just 16 years old, AO has a bag that some NBA players probably wish they had. And when you add his off-the-charts confidence to that equation, you get a dangerous scoring threat. He's averaging 17 points per game in the OTE preseason, and that number is only going to rise as he gains experience. He models his game after Jason Tatum, but one of his closest mentors is Carmelo Anthony. So get to know AO so you don't miss the show. <laughs> hey, 22. Adam, Trey, you guys are up. Adam. Yeah. They need to delete that video. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, that guy, that video gotta go. What? What, what was it comparing Sammy, to Sammy, Jordan? Sammy, 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 Spacey Doyce. Yep, yeah. Sorry. What I want to know what he did <laughs> that game, like in what particular, what did he do to like make you somebody like, hey, well, you know what? That's my forward. He said the player. He said John Bull flying. I think Sniper was the guy they were referring to when they said comparisons. Here we go. John Bull. Oh my God! And one. Oh, he's playing great tonight. Oh yeah. John Bull looking really active today. Guards doing a great job finding him, too. Man, good pass, good advance pass. That kid is special, man. Oh, yeah. This is that boy so good. He, he, he reminded him about the joy. <laughs> I done heard it all today. <laughs> that is so crazy. Every time I hear it, it's just so crazy to me, bro. Warren back out. Chopper. Hey, ain't nobody trying to go up with <laughs> Protecting that paint. Now look at him run the floor again. Yep. Oh, what? Come on, John. You're being too generous. Uh -oh, that's Michael a Wide. Buckets. Hey, that boy. Man. Hey, that boy. Is, hey, that, now the lead go crazy. Yeah. yeah he blinked. Now it's a 13-point gap. Corner three. Money. That one. Talk to the bench. I like that. The Skyers. I've been a solid game so far here today. I don't know if I want Mike Keller or Quan more. Both those points are crazy. Ah, uh, you gotta go Quan. He just dropped 27. Oh, uh, if we pick it, I'm, I'm gonna take Mike Keller. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's out of bounds. He looked look more fluid yeah. and, like, yeah. and like less effort. Than hey, guys, super important clock yeah, awareness. But, but that last one I was telling Gil. Going he for the steal right here, even if he like, hits it, okay. we don't get anything. Right. It's just out of bounds. So, like, five seconds left. We gotta be able to play contained defense and keep in front of us, all right? Right now we got uh, three seconds left, three or four seconds left. Let's go like that little, that little Boston action, okay? I'll draw it up. Uh, JB, uh, Trey, Adam. Now you know what? Michael, that's you. Trey, Adam, Sammy, you take it out. Trey, you go first. If it's there, okay, it's there. If not. We're hitting Kel right here. Kel, you got two seconds. Just get it, get one up, all right? Uh, JB, here's a decoy. You go scream for I'm not doing it no more. Only playing dudes got two. Minutes, There's quite literally 0 0.6 seconds left. That can it. Yo, they got like a 95% likely. Hey, you guys got four. If we were in New York, you would have got four. <laughs> Point this time That's how out. you guys did it over there. 1.6. They just Hands. made a correction. Yo, Hands. That's a lot Not more time. Into the basket. Come alive right here. No. Inbound. Hold up. John Bull. It's a back. 40 footer. Can't be what they draw it up, man. No way. Nah. <laughs> nah. 
Hey, look, though, man, it's halftime. The score is 35 to 25. Cold Hearts up big. I asked what you guys expected in the beginning. Was this it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I can't believe I'm going to be 2-0. Oh. Yeah, nah, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Uh, it look, is crazy. Look, we got our player of the half with us, too. Ayo, hey, how you doing, man? I'm good. How are you, Tom? Uh, it's Agent Zero, but close oh. enough, man. <laughs> no, you're, you're Tom, <laughs> Tom is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, yo. hey, you went out to a good set this first half, man. How you feel about your team's performance? Feeling great. We pushing the ball up head to, uh, up head to floor. We, we, we doing good on the rebounds. We playing good as a team on the bench, too. Uh, but we just, like, all playing great. Ian Jackson, he's been talking a lot, man. You got an answer for him in the second half? Oh, yeah, for sure. Well, I'm not done. Uh -huh. And a point prediction, please. Oh, uh, I don't know. I know we're going to win by 15 plus, 20 plus. That is a great PR answer. Get out of here, man. Appreciate <laughs> you, man. Appreciate y'all. <laughs> hey, appreciate y'all for watching. Drop a like if you haven't already, man. Say hi in the chat. We got a halftime show coming right up. 35-25 is the score. We will be right back with some more. Strawberries, blueberries, apples, cranberry, raspberry, cantaloupe, watermelon, banana. Welcome to the OT Halftime Show. We got a great game going on. Cold Hearts and Jelly Bam. Cold Hearts up 10. I'm over time, Tom. I'm joined by my man, Snipe. Snipe, you're in the Cold Hearts gear. So you, uh, you prepared for this. Hey, man, I came prepared for the best backcourt in OTE. I caught it, and I'm going to stand on it. And I think it's starting to pick up. It's pretty incredible. The two of the younger guards in all of OTE, Michael Brown and Adam O, come out just crushing it against them. Jelly Bam equally has some amazing guards. But Adam O, man, he, he's pretty unreal. Yo, Adam O is going crazy right now, which weird to me. I didn't see him in the starting lineup. I was kind of confused about that. Literally just had a big game against the same team, but rather in the lineup, out the start lineup, the results are the same. 100%. Coming off the bench, he kind of actually gave him a great spark, but here you're looking at some of the first half highlights. Jo Jelly Bam obviously came out up top, but when Michael Brown does that to your best player, that, that's hard. Yo, Michael is going crazy. Deep threes, he's knocking them down. And his IQ is looking really nice this game, too, making the right passes. Yeah, he's totally, he's controlling the whole entire game, right? Throwing the ball ahead, he's getting buckets, hitting threes. And then Adamo, obviously, with a nice dish there to hang on. Kolar just have so many guards, right? Hang on. Uh, Trey Parker, Adamo, you got Michael, of course. I just don't really know how you stop that crew. Yeah, and, and kind of, you can count Samis as a guard, too, because yep. even though he's kind of taller, he plays like a guard. Look here, at him, 10 yeah. points in the first half. I mean, talk about it, Tom. Yeah, you got the two stars right here. Obviously, Ian Jackson went nine quick points. They sat him the last three minutes of the half. I thought that hurt Jelly Bam a lot, and Adamo, obviously, that picture of Adamo is outstanding. <laughs> <laughs> it is, but shout out to my that. guy Ian, though, because Ian making some tough layups. He getting to the cup, and he's showing everybody why he's one of the best players in the country and headed to UNC. Ian's amazing, right? And I feel like he every game he comes out really hype, really in a great energy. When they sit him, you can see that it really hurts the team. We need Choppa Moore and Delquan Warren. I'm saying we from New York. I, <laughs> I got to rip my jelly fam, guys. Um, but but I think that uh, they need all three guys to kind of step it up. Speaking of one of those guys, Elijah Choppa Moore, who we're going to check out a little bit with right now. Choppa with the, he's got it on the elbow, my guy. Oh my God, Chopper! Oh, sh you know it's coming. You know it's coming. I got it. Bloody boys. That's my boy! 
Take a rebound. The rebound. Oh, work. Oh, I'm tweaking. Yo, swear they said overrated. Yo, where the camera at? Yo, swear they said overrated now. I love you. I love Moore, but you, you're watching it there in a dance off behind you? Yo, this is the funniest dance off. One of the guys from the dance off walked off without dancing at all. I guess he couldn't dance. Right, maybe he didn't get the memo. It was a dance off. Well, speaking of great dancing, I don't know where I'm going with this, but we're going to go and throw it to the locker rooms now. Check out what the coaches are saying during halftime. Jelly Fam down 10. Let's see if they can come back. So it's time to hoop. Ain't no excuses no more. I ain't doing it. Because everybody moves in their minds. I don't even need to see the stat sheet. I know what effort look like. And that ain't it. Everybody want to point the finger. Next dude to point the finger, I'm burying you. Burying you on that bench. Everybody got me. And let everybody know, hey, camera here, they hear me say it. I mean it, and I'm going to stand on that. Ty, I'm the problem. I'm trying to get him too much help. Hey, we said it before the game, and, and John, you said it. It's tough to beat a team twice in a week, okay? So we're, they're, they're, they're definitely coming at us um, and prepared. Really good job, that last group in the second quarter of sharing the basketball. Let's, let's make sure that against their press, um, let's start to look for this, this split option of the guard who takes it out, Kel or Trey or whoever it is, or Adam, running up the middle and then hitting him. But just in general, guys, make sure that we're not running away from the ball, okay? We should have somebody always behind the ball, somebody up the floor, and somebody in the middle. But more than that, just make sure you guys are coming to support against the press and then, and then move it quick. If we, if we change it, if you guys can change it, and get it to this side, you know, we've gotten a lot of open shots. Um, we haven't knocked them down, but keep shooting open three-point shots, all right? Keep going to the glass. Hell of a job defensively. To, have, to hold them to 25 points with us having, um, you know, eight turnovers is, is really good. So, like, the half-court defense is fantastic. Guard to Man, guard. one of the best halftime shows because I got the coaches screaming in one year. I got Snipes singing in the other. Uh, two different coaching situations there. Coach Pete was fired up. Coach Banning is just being a little more tactical. I'm nervous for Jelly Fam. Hey, listen, I know we talked about dancing earlier, but we cannot let this halftime go without talking about the best crossover of the season so true, far. True. We've seen some dancing to the behind the back. Oh, my yep. goodness. Eric Mejia, I don't know who he crossed up. Do you remember who it was? I he got uh, Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah Femina got, yeah, got crossed got up by Eric Mejia. Yeah. That's, that's very great. Hey, Jeremiah, hey, way to keep playing, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, big ups, but that was crazy. That was that's nasty. an amazing job. Hey, everyone in the chat, make sure you don't go anywhere. Keep throwing as much comments, likes, everything in there. You got Jeff T, you got Agent, you got Duke Dance. They want to answer all your questions. Make sure you're firing that off. We got a great game going on right now. Cold Hearts 35, Jelly Fam 25. You think Jelly Fam's got any shot? Man, I think Jelly Fam definitely got a shot. Close game right now, and the way that Ian is playing, anything is possible. Chopper not even in his bag yet. He definitely got a chance. Awesome. Well, hey, earlier this week, OT and State Farm teamed up. We redid the Grove Park Center um, out down in Atlanta. Made it look beautiful. We're going to check out a little bit right there. Love to see us, us working with State Farm to get back to the community.
so we're here at the ribbon cutting for the Grove Park Recreation Center redevelopment. This project was a part of the community coops program between OTE and State Farm. From replacing the floors to repainting all these walls, installing a mural right over there. All of this sort of came together to help us rebrand and redevelop this important piece of our, our community. We couldn't be happier with how it's come together. And we are back with some second half action. I'm your host, Agent Zero, joined by my co-host, Duke Dennis. Back. And we got Jeff Teague in the building today, man. It's a vibe, man. Oh, 100%. Look now, it's a close, well, I lied. It was close a second ago. It's 35-25. Ian Jackson, uh, Ciampa, there's a lot on their shoulders right now. It's like, I don't think Jelly Fan's playing bad. Cole Harris is playing good. Excellent. Yeah, they, yeah, they're playing really good. Carol Brown going crazy <laughs> right now. Nice. Yeah, Jeff, you might go 2-0 and on pick today, bro. Man, I'm, I guess a first-time picker. You know how they say, first time to charm or whatever, good luck, whatever. It yeah, is, beginner's but, luck, man. That's a fact. And you have no idea how bad it is this year. If they counted the ones we did off-camera, I'm like 1-7. <laughs> like, I'm basically cursed. <laughs> bro, said, bro said first time to charm. <laughs> it's really third time. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> Close enough. My count got the ball. It's going up. Yeah. Hey, yo, nice move. Fade, no. John tips it. Cohorts keep it. Corner three. Buckets. Yeah, it might be over, fellas. Nah, this. Hey, start of the third. Hey, he played the pass. What a pass. Travel, though. Yep. And the air ball. Crazy collab. <laughs> A travel in the air ball is indeed a crazy collab. Hey, yo, what's it? <laughs> Gohar hey, just hey, look comfy. They, they, they better not let that man right there get it. Get yeah. it going. No, the wrong is nice. Hey, they better not let him get it going. Chopper got it. Oh, the I'm new. Oh. Okay. Oh, bounce pass. Another travel. Hey, he been traveling all game, bro. <laughs> That's not calling it. It's not John Bowe, bro. He the hey, only person who can affect his game is something. Corner three misses. Well, Cohorts have an opportunity here to just stomp them out while they're uh -oh. Chopper, down. This go. We got a different game. Chopper. Hey, you know he got a bull's out tattoo on his elbow. It's tough. Chopper hits the three, makes it a 10-point game. Kel, I pick a roll action fade. This game so smooth. It is. He get to his spots, man. Who's the best ball handler of all time? Kyrie Irving. That is yeah. a great answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then second answer. is Jamal Crawford. What? Yeah. Robertson? Yeah, yeah. Evolution, bro. Yeah, Jamal crazy. Yeah. Hey, Jamal said he still got about 10 limb moves. He ain't never showing nobody. <laughs> we used to be in practice, bro. He do some amazing stuff, bro. But he's the type to throw the ball off your head in the practice and type of. Like, he was crazy. I'm like, bro, chill out. Bro. <laughs> you, could, you could guard him, though, be honest. Nah, I ain't guarding him. That's actually real, bro. man. I'm not going to lie. Like, I had to fight lied. Jamal. Yeah, you could have. What? I had to fight him. He crossed Oh. Me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the. So he only showed his best moves in practice? Yeah. That's. It's not fair. Ian Jackson. He explosive. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Uh, three steps made it all the way to the rim. Good layup. Trey Parker. No call wrong. Thought about it. Uh, he's, he weighed the ball. That was a good entry pass, man. He just couldn't reach for it. Warren alley -oop gets tipped. It's a bag. Might have stepped out of bounds, though. Yeah, refs think so. That one on step out of bounds. Michael, that is a good call, man. Moving screen called on John Bull. And here was that layup a moment ago for me and Jackson. Ten point game. 
It is far from over. When you got, when you, when you got Jackson, man, you got Ian Jackson on your team. Oh, let me not talk so soon, man. Michael got it. Oh my goodness. Couple oh, nice moves. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> he ain't, he ain't a pick. He a three. He definitely a better player. Yeah, definitely. He definitely a better player. Definitely. It's FIBA rules. They could have just tapped that in. Nice lay, Ian hey, Jackson. Hey, Ian tough though, man. Like. He's he, tough, man. He definitely tough. Jackson got 11. Brown got 14. They're not making him work hard for his buckets. Yeah. Like, AO and McCall, like, they, they points, they 10 and 14, so casual. Yo, I need to let me see that. Put two that time. on a t shirt. Let me, put that, let me see that two times, man. I did not know he could do that. I ain't expect that. I ain't expect that right there. It was so casual. He put, well, he put that right there, boy. Oh, he did. Trey Parker, good, has he? Scoop layup. No, John Bull can't get the rebound. And here's that dunk from Samiz Calderon. Nah. Hey. Oh, my goodness. My Bill went for it. Oh, playing good defensively so far, though. Yeah, I mean, the, all the greats, you know, they get they get caught every now and again. Hey, P, I think you might have that one. Well, I ain't know, boy. The, we we living in the internet generation right now. Anything that happened going on that net. Uh, he's definitely going on there tonight. Knowing <laughs> <laughs> OTE, he on there right now. <laughs> First free throw. Misses. OTE Basketball will be back on Prime in the new year with the doubleheader action. First up, set and haul commit, Jazeem Felton. And the Blue Checks host the most electric scorer in the league, Eli Ellis and the YNG Dreamers. Then the Cold Hearts face off against Jelly Fam for their regular series finale. It all starts Friday, January 5th at 7 p.m. Eastern, only on Prime Video. Uh, you guys have to answer in a split second. Uh, no thinking instinct. Most underrated player in NBA history. Uh, what? what you think? Say something right there. Mello. Say again. Mello. Mello. Really? I feel like he's probably. Oh, good uh, shot there. Don't get him going. Mine's would be Joe Johnson. Joe uh, Johnson. Most overrated. Over. Over. Yeah. You guys thought about it. It's too late, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to even say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. <laughs> I, I mean, I oh, thought about the tip slam. Nah, I'm still thinking, bro. Most overrated. That's a little tough. Oh. Yeah, overrated. It's kind of tough. I think Joe Johnson's the most underrated player of all time. Yeah. He's like a seven-time All-Star. Nobody even really talking about him. Really. I can see that, man. Like, they don't even talk about him being in the Hall of Fame. Like he should. No disrespect to Jamal. He's great. Yeah. One better than Joe. They got Jamal about to go in the Hall of Fame. Proper. He, he up for it. Oh wow! Didn't yeah. know that. And I love you. Looks like we got Tom on the vibe cam. Coach Manning, uh, you just told me that you're always calm. Don't lie on a broadcast. No, I'm always calm, man. You guys just, you just catch me at the wrong moment. Whenever you, you only come around when I'm pissed off. That, that's very fair. But I came over to you right now when you're winning, uh, what are you up by? 14? Playing well? Yeah, I think we're playing good. At the first start of the game, we were really uh, all over the place. But since then, we've really settled down um, and playing together on both ends. Michael Brown obviously had a great first half. Talk to me about his game a little bit. He's just like, he just loves the hoop, man. I got a lot of guys in this locker room that uh, really love to play basketball. And Kel's one of those dudes that he just stays in the gym. So the work, hard work's paying off for him. I love it. And then obviously Ian Jackson on Jelly Fan, one of the best players in the country. How do you slow him down? Team effort. Whoever's on him's got to be super locked in. And then guys off the ball got to be ready to help. But we've been, uh, we've been doing a good job defensively. All right, Coach. Merry Christmas. Back, back to you guys. Yeah, nice plays right there. Okay. Oh my goodness. Hey yo, man, he's he's having a great game so far, man. Him and Mike Kelba. Hey yo got 13. Oh hey, he didn't get to the right so easy, bro. Got it back too, and got fouled. He's so fast. Yeah, he fast. 
There's that shot from AO. Man, quick pull up. And then Ian Jackson right here. Get out the way, man. Business decision. Well, it's a real business decision. I think, I think the worst posters is the two hand posters because, like, it's body to body and they always go flying. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Looks like Tom has John Bull for the vibe cam. Tom? Hey, fellas, I'm down here with John Bull. He's getting ankle retake. What happened? Yeah, um, I twisted my ankle in practice. Um, it's a little bit painful right now. It's disturbing me. That's why I'm getting the tape. How do you feel like the game's going so far? You guys are up by about 15. Yeah, just got to give it a Yeah, it's great. Talk to me about Mike, Mike Calabria. He's been your point guard for a few years now. Talk to me about his game. He good, obviously. I can see what he's doing. So, um, you know, he, let, he just lets his game speak. All so, right, yeah. man, I appreciate it. John Bull, getting back in the game real soon. Appreciate you, man. Back to you guys. AO's calling for it. I just get it right here. AO need he, he it. Still calling for it. He's spamming call for pass. Gets it. Three ball. Nope. That play ruins your teammate grade in 2K. You're up to Oh, I don't know. Michael's surprised by that. They're good defense right there, King Cal. Here it is. Nice Euro. Mm. Yeah, I can see that. Might be a jump ball. Bad calls, referees. You gonna tell it to him? I can bring him over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ref! Uh, you, thought I, you thought I was going to stand down? Oh, nah. Ref, he wants to talk to you. That was a bad call right there, Ref. I said, that was a bad call right there. It's just, it's, yeah. <laughs> he come looks on, you hey. straight in your eyes and gave you two thumbs up. Hey, come on, man. I, I, I really stand on business, though. <laughs> hey. Bro, I thought I was finna, you know what I'm saying? Man, he ball. smiled at you like a Teletubby man. and just <laughs> two thumbs up. That jump ball, dude. A uh, great guy, though, man. Hey, yeah. What Ian got right now? 16. Say he's going for it. Yeah. 17. They're sagging. Trey Parker pulls up money. Why would they sag? Trey Parker emo at baby point. You know what Chris Moore used to say. Oh! John Moe sent that one to the second row. This defensive presence is crazy. His third block of the game, I think they be having tunnel vision when they be driving because they be focused on the person in front of them. Whole time, John Moe. Look at that right there. Thought about it. They better stay away from him. Man, they need to stay away from John Moe, man. Great defense from the Here cold hearts. Again. Here we go, Mejia, three. Shot clock violation. And now they play some great defense right there, Cole Hart. Phenomenal. Uh, bad pass, got kicked though. Gotta throw that up to him. <laughs> comeback here would be fantastic. You said a comeback? Yeah, I just wanted to be close. I picked the Cole Hart's, but I just like a nice close game. Nah, bro, the cold hard defense too uh -oh. good right now. I know it was the inverted whistle. I know y'all didn't see it. You understand what I'm Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I, mean, I appreciate you. I mean, <laughs> 15. I was waiting to see if that was a fake laugh. Eric, see Eric. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like the Chris Paul me, man. Step back from Ian Mejia. Drive. That's such a uh, good. Oh. Blew it. Good drive, though. Chopper. Deep three. Nothing. John on the rebound. Foul by Skyers. Oh, looks like it might be a big bonus here. Yep, 5v4 advantage for the Cold Hearts. 14 seconds on the clock. Chance to extend the lead here. Uh-oh, the pass. Trey Parker, another three. No, rebound. Cold Hearts keep it. Blow it. 
There you go. Jackson's going to get back in this game. They're going to have to rebound. He, yeah. Defense. Ian Jackson's going to have to be way more aggressive. He's aggressive now, but he's going to have to take over the game. He's going to have to shoot threes and stuff. Yeah. Too. Man, hang on is playing some tough defense for court. That is how you tire him out. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Eight seconds on the clock. Choppa got it. Ball gets tipped. They get control. Lay. What a move. Jelly. Yeah, Jelly fan. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh, oh man. Oh. 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 oh, nice tip. Choppa. Nope. Pull up. No. Hey. 56-43, man. <laughs> Cold Hearts up 13, heading into the fourth quarter. We got some more action, man. Don't go anywhere. That's a wee. I just played Michael Jackson. <laughs> it's an iPod. What is that? Uh, I like something that a dentist uses or something. That is called an overhead projector. Overhead projector? What's the point of it? Those are Heelys. Those are Heelys. Yeah. I had, nah, I'm lying. I never had a pair. <laughs> I'd like to take this time right here to shout out the Adidas 6 fan, Tristan Zagans from Decatur, Georgia. Tristan's favorite OTE team is RWE. Man, he's a huge fan of Nelson the Prodigy. Prodigy's nuts. He also played the trumpet at the last presidential inauguration. Tristan, thanks for being a super fan here at OTE, bud. Tom's got him on the vibe cam. Tom? Hey, fellas, I'm now with my man, Tristan. How are we doing? Six, six man of the game. How are you feeling about the cold hearts? I'm doing good. I think they're going to win. They're, it's a blowout. They're going to win. Why do you like the cold hearts so much? Because they're just going to win. And, and, and the sword, they're going to win. So you're hating on my New York team, Jelly Fam? No, no, no Jelly Fam. Throw it in the microwave. They're done. Throw <laughs> it in the microwave. That's amazing. Now, you're 11 years old. You play basketball at all? Yeah. What's your game like? It's pretty good. I think I cooked everyone out here. What'd you say? I could cook everyone out here. You could cook everyone out here? Yeah. Who's your, who's your, <laughs> who's your favorite player in OT? Ayo. Okay, Ayo, is your game like him? What's your game like? He's good. What? What's your game like? Uh, good. I have good handles and I'm a good finisher, but I'm not the best shooter. Okay. All right. Can I get a score prediction? What's the end of this game going to look like? Uh, Cold Hearts winning by 50. Cold Hearts by 50. Going to be a big fourth quarter. Six man of the game, my man. Great job. I'll see you in a little bit, all right? Back to you guys. Bro, it just, it just be, like, clarifying that little kids be having, like, delusional minds, <laughs> Everything he said was wrong. <laughs> Everything you said was basically wrong. Oh. He's going too fast. He wanted, he wanted. Way to hustle, John Ball. Hey, here's that replay from a moment ago. Yo, Michael is so smooth. Cross court, one handed pass. Hey, non. Buckets. Yeah, he's different, man. This is, this is tough. Yeah, Cole Hart's got a lot of options. Too many weapons, man. Jelly Fam haven't been able to find an answer. Hey, I see Cole Hart's. I see the Reaper going all the way. I can't believe you're saying that, but RWE just, without three of their best players, went down to the wire with the City Reapers. Yeah, but... Ooh, corner three connects. Still got a game. Yep. Oh. 11 point game. Up to the low post action here. Oh man, he was he was he was jumping for the he was calling for the pass, not paying attention. My goodness. Hey night, you know, the hey, courage. That's how you supposed to jump into jump, you know what I'm saying, John Ball. He jumped straight into him, lean into him. Yeah. 
Well, Ian Jackson's gonna need a lot of help from Chopper, Mobile. Good pass. Everybody. AO in the corner. Money. Damn. Man. Damn. That dude different, bro. Hey, that's that court, man. I'm trying to tell y'all. 15 and 14. AO, AO, um, his 15 up in a little, little silent kills. Yeah, he started off in the first quarter making a lot of noise. Good tip from AO. Back of hands. Feel like every time Jelly fans making a little bit of progress, Cohorts just slump it out. Just a severe lack of awareness there. Shot clock violation. So lack of awareness. Pretty sure the crowd was counting down too. <laughs> maybe, maybe he thought it was the ball drop for New Year's. Trey Parker. Oh my God! I met at the rim and swatted. Ian Jackson on the lay. There you go. There you go. Ian Jackson got like a 95 driving layup. Oh, yeah, God. yeah. If he if he if he added some threes this game, well he'll have about 30 so far. Hey oh. oh. Hey, this is his second boom of the day. Wow. Oh. Hey nah, bro is not nah, bro is not. Nah, he for real today. Quarter three. That's Chopper. Good shot, Chopper. No count, bro. Good shot. They needed that replay right here of that dunk from Hanon. Man, just oh, nah. get out the way. That was a Yomi in the way of that one. Hey, no, nah, there's so much talent down in Brazil, man. They said it's the biggest basketball market outside of. North America. Uh oh. 11 shot clock. Nine point game. Oh, no. I need to go three. No. Someone got to get me Trey Parker's deep three percentages. I just got to know is it's it a, efficient? This might be a bucket. Nah, Ian Jackson is like a pure slasher today. He's, <laughs> yeah, he's getting to the rim. He ain't put no attributes on the three yet. <laughs> <laughs> that boy went to swag, put up his driving layup. And driving. <laughs> Open three for Ian Jackson. There you go. There you go. Yes. He bought some VC. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's what we need. I've been, I've been saying it all game. He three. bought some VC? <laughs> yeah. He put, it, he put it up a little bit. Man, that dribble package is nuts, but he's making it work, though. Uh-oh, we got a game, y'all. Yeah. yeah, we do. It didn't look like it, but it's only a six-point game. <laughs> and we got a break, but we'll be right back. Cheerios, Frosted Flakes, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Yeah, I'm tripping. Uh, Captain Crunch. Um, those are the, I usually get the only ones. Cocoa, Cocoa Puffs. We got the Cash App lockdown of the game, too. Highlight our defensive plays. And today's cash app lockdown, none other. John Bull swatting. Delquan Warren's yep. attempt, man. Get out of here. Boom. It's like Ness with the baseball bat. John Bull having a great game. A lot of work defensively. He's showing his versatility, man. Pivotal. 
pivotal player here for Cole Hart. Man, if they if they win this whole thing, he's gonna play a big role in it. Yeah, his defensive presence has been amazing today. People been missing all type of layups besides Ian Jackson. Nobody else really been going to the paint because of him. Yeah. <laughs> and then the Cole Hart's backcourt gets a lot of praise and shine, but John Baldwin solid all season long for the Cole Hearts. Is that scary or is it smart? Probably smart, man. The way he blocking shots and changing shots. You know, Peyton Marshall was originally a cold heart. So with the loss of Peyton Marshall, John Bull's role on the team, a lot more significant now. And if he fumbles, there's really no bigs that can fill that slide. Uh oh, good take. Oh. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, where did the wheel? Them boys is trying me. Them boys trying to boom air play. Hey, shout out to the baller in the chat, man. We see y'all, bro. Who y'all got winning this one, man? Jelly Fast making it close. I'm going to be honest. Hold on, though. Ayo on the fast break. Oh, what the hell's going on? It looked like it, right? <laughs> Jelly Fam had a, a realistic chance, and it's just like a flood of cold hearts. Wow, Santos is playing great too. Yeah. yeah. Got a couple highlight dunks. That's a tough move. No call. Put back. No rebound. Goes to Jelly Fam. Chopper oh. wins it. Oh my God. Good pass. God. Oh. Yomi is found. Here's that last Cole Hart's block. Oh, this is a lay from AO, actually. Boom. Easy lay. Hey! Start the break. Hey, yo, been getting some easy, uh, fast break points. Hey, look, man, Jelly Fam, you got to believe in yourself, man, okay? Look, it's only 10 points. Only 10 points. That's it. That's like three threes and a free throw. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> they got to make their free throws, though. Yeah, he missed the first. Which is tough. Missed the second. I don't know, dude. You might have to sit down. <laughs> ah, it's a good shot, buddy. One for two at the line. There we go. I have to apply some pressure now. Yep. Mike Calvin having a fantastic game so far. Gets fouled. Foul call him here. His wow. handle too good. Yeah, he's smooth. I give him about like a 82. Ball handle. Control. Yeah. 82. He got at least had 85. Okay. 85 means he gets those elite animations, though. Yeah. Foul call. Okay. Jeff, what do you think makes a good point guard? My ability to make people, other people better. Mm. Uh, you can I'm make the game Louis. easier for everybody yeah, else. Yeah, correct me, man. I'm out here yelling Serbia. Understand. Match up. Peyton Manning used to do that. <laughs> yeah, it's like no, being no, a no. quarterback. No. Yeah. Say man, say man, yeah. Hey man, we're good. Michael gets easy shots for everybody. Ayo hey, got a bunch of easy shots. The most overrated player is Bynum. There's my answer. Andrew Bynum? Yeah, bro. He was overrated. As hell, man. He looked like he was on All-Star team when Kobe was there. He Went was. to Philly and we never heard hey, from him. Hey Adam, keep guys in front of you right now. We're up ten. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Still pressure, injured, but, but keep guys in front of you. Overrated. 
I can't do that one. No, no, no. Hey, Andrew, there I'm was one. Andrew, 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 Andrew. He was. You went, you went out of both reach right here. Like, no. You know what I'm saying? He, he had that back and forth with Shaq. You guys both go game. for a steal right here. Yeah. And then that, that three play. Like, we're up by 10. You got to be smart with He is Kobe Bryant triangle offense, man. Okay. He's not really overrated, but I think Steve Nash. Yeah, a lot of people say that, but I have to defend him because he's Canadian. Yeah, I respect that. <laughs> Steve Nash won two of them. <laughs> yeah, it's some, two of them. One of them was yeah. supposed to be his. Yeah, it's supposed to be Kobe, right? Yeah. That, that hurt. Like, as a huge Kobe fan, man, I didn't know what to do. It drive. Good pass, though. <laughs> Physical there defensively. Hey yo, with it. He might just pull up. Good defense. Good defense. Amazing Good defense. And a travel call. Oh, oh, yeah. That's a bad call. It's too bad call. Jeff, you wouldn't say it to his face though. Be crazy. <laughs> Ref! <laughs> no, <it's laughs> Let me stop. Yo, that was a bad call. <laughs> They want no travel. <laughs> that was a bad call. Uh, he heard that one. <laughs> what was that? Three second, three second call. Man, why you up if he go? Uh -oh. Gonna steal from Omi Douche. Gets guy. it up to Michael. I'm seeing an alley oop here. Oh, okay, maybe not. Oh, oh tip slam. John Bull. It's over. I mean, it ain't no whip, but like based on like the energy. And... Nah, I don't think uh, Jelly Fam gave up. Chopper up. Rebound, good put back. You know, was real fast, real quick. You right, it's only a nine point game. Yeah, five yeah, minutes yeah. left to go, plenty of time. Man, you just need like a moment, man. You need a moment. That's... Oh, that was crazy. That's rare, man, where you put your hand up and accept the foul. That's rare. Never could be me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm doing that every time. What are you looking at, Red? Hey, we got Tom on the vibe cam with AO's dad. Thank you, fellas. Hey, I'm over here with Mr. Umaduch. How are you feeling about the game so far? Oh, it's great. Uh, I think the whole team came out with the uh, energy. Uh, they're playing really well together. Um, I mean, their, their defense is good. They're rebounding the ball. Ball is doing amazing. It's killing the ball. Uh, I think you got effort from all the boys, which is great. Uh, Cole Hall is doing the amazing things. I love that. I love that. And obviously, Adam's having a great game. He's been playing super well ever since he got down here. Are you like, like how does it feel watching him play out here? He's one of the younger guys out here. Yeah, it's been, uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's great, uh, you know, for him to come out here. Play, uh, you know, the way he's playing against some of, you know, top kids in the country. Uh, you know, we always tell him you got to come out, fight. You know, I know he can score the ball, but, we, you know, we want him to do more, which, you know, rebounds. It says he's doing some great passes today, which is great. So, Of course, and obviously, you know, you had to make the decision that he was going to leave home, come down here to Atlanta. What, what kind of, like, went into all that to, to end up sending him to OT? Uh, I think, you know, um, it, it took some times, you know, uh, but I think once we came out here to, you know, we did the tour, we met, you know, the coaches, um, the teachers, everybody, you know, the, it, it was no brainer for us. I think, you know, this is, this is, yeah, ball. this is, you know, this is top tier stuff. So now I couldn't ask for more. We, act, you know, we made the right decision and we're so happy that we actually did. I love it. And last question for you. At what age did you know that Adam was like a little bit better than everyone else at basketball? Oh my God. Uh, I mean, you know, he started playing basketball when he was nine years old. Um, that probably a bit late to, for, for, for the other kids to what basketball is. But I think, uh, you know, when he was like 12 years old, a lot of people started saying, yo, like he's, he's good, he's special. Uh, that's when we really took it to the next level with training, focusing a lot, and just being training, training, training. I love it, man. Mr. O, we appreciate you always. Go cold hearts. Back to you guys in the booth. Adam, 19 points. Doing exactly what he's supposed to do for his team. Yeah, nah, no cap. Scoring, man. He's leading them in scoring. The whole cohort's actually been contributing, right? Yeah. Yeah.
that you can see you can see the difference in teams like on, on the stat sheet. So. It's kind of impressive he ain't started playing basketball until he was nine. Yeah. That's what he's 16 now. Uh, he got good fast. Who's the MVP right now? Of the whole league? Yeah. Uh, they won. Cal? Yeah, they won. But it's team two and four. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but like, bro, if he wasn't doing it, if he, if he, he but that'd be 0-6, boy. Let me get a little vibe for real quick. I need everybody to understand something, right? So look, what we trying to do, right? On, on offense, right? We got to score quickly, so we're spreading the floor because they don't want to guard. So we get into the paint. If y'all don't notice, the shot block is gonna come every time and we can just drop it off to Iomi to dunk every time. Everybody got me? All you go in there and you finish. All right, but look, we wanna run diamond once though. Just one time. Everybody got me? We ain't putting no pressure on them and we gotta exert it. All right, on offense, next offense. Michael, you got it here. Trey, you got here. Sammy's there. Uh, John Bull, you're right there. Adam, run through Kel. Kel, come downhill. Sammy, back cut. Trey, corner field. Kel, you're getting there reading. You got John on the dump off. You got Sammy's maybe for a lob. And you got Trey, corner field three, OK? Hey, stick together. Ready, press break. Let's finish this game. Don't expect fouls. Be strong with the ball. Hey, defense on me, defense on me. Defense. Hey, hey, no, hey, no, no gamble, yo. Hey, no, no gamble. Hey, no fouls to give. No fouls to give. If Jelly Tams can make this comeback, they better start now. 12 point game, three minutes, 42 seconds left to go. They gotta make some threes. Yeah, no pep talks needed, man. Just gotta do it. Ooh, good in and out. Choppa dancing with it, pass out. Nope, picked off. Uh oh, Cole Horace, John Bowl. Wow. John Bow is probably the most important piece on this whole team. He's so fast, though. Bro, every on, side. on both sides of the court, like he just stretched the defense. Yeah. Oh my God. Nah, you, that's a good point, man. OTE basketball is going to be back on Prime in the new year with a doubleheader. First up, Seton Hall commit Jazdeen Felton and the Blue Checks host the most electric scorer in the league, Eli Ellis and the YNG Dreamers. Then the Cole Hearts square off against Jelly Fam for the regular series finale. It all starts Friday, January 5th at 7 p.m. Eastern, only on Prime Video. That boy just about a, a free throw there. <laughs> no way he did. I looked down for a second. Hey, hey I tried to understand, bro. I'm like, bro, it's the second one today. Wow. <laughs> a rare carry call. Oh, we got a replay test. I ain't gonna lie, you can't hold your follow through when you airball. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it's it, crazy. <laughs> it's crazy because it went short and left. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even bad on one axis. <laughs> hey, I, hey yo, I caught the short end though. The replay make it crazy. <laughs> Good defense. Amazing defense. Boggis Poe. Hey, yo, try to leak out low key. Get shot, get shot, get shot. Corner three, no. Might be cooked for the Jelly Fam. Yep, 100% cooked. Yeah, they're cooked. Very cooked. Very cooked. Jay Parker had a good game, though. He got 15 points, huh? I want to see a Trey Parker posted, though. I ain't gonna care. Because up until this game, Trey Parker had hit a three all season. Huh? Really? Yeah. He didn't shot 15 of them. Yeah. Just a cold start from three. Hey, hey yo. Buckets. Hey, Trey, that was a good pass, bro. That was a good pass. Can't see to miss these guys. Yeah. Well, look like I got my two and all start. Yeah, you definitely got your two and all. I'll take one and one, man. Yeah, so the day. Shoot, they shoot there, man. Yeah. Ian Jackson. Breaks. And every miss feel like a punch in the face. <laughs> Shooting up. Again. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, he's trying, he's trying, he's trying. Keep up. Trap call on AO. 
Hey, yo, with 22 points. We talked about him being able to step up and do what his team needed scoring-wise. Did exactly that today, consistent throughout the entire game. You heard from his father. They know he can score. It's just a matter of rebounding, being able to pass the ball. He's been doing it all for his team oh, today. Yeah. Yep. Hey, yo, corner three, another one. Called the wrong. Tip pass gets tip. Billy fan was looking for a win, bro. I didn't want to have to wait until the I'm just saying, I'm worried. They down, but they down by like 40. You gotta just shake this one off, man. Yeah. Bad way to go out for the year if you're Jelly fan. But they gotta play them again uh, at the yeah, start of the New Year. Yeah. 2024. So you come back, man. Nice bounce pass. Another one. Oh, we're supposed to let it ride. He's feeling it. No, misses. Ian Jackson got it. Been having a pretty fuck freaking great day, man. <laughs> I should say so myself. Good hey, lay. Hey, he automatically ran that rim, though. Yeah, his layup is on mine. Yeah. That's all he's been doing all game, just taking it to the 10. Chat, is this the game y'all expected? <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a little bit closer, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, Step man. back by Cal, three, no. It looks so good, it looks so good though. Oh. Ooh, good job. Hey, that was tough though, Chopper. Hey, Chopper, that was tough, my boy. Chopper, my, Chopper definitely my favorite player on uh, Jelly Show. Though. I know Ian be going crazy, but Chopper, he reliable like, every game. 8-9, 12 seconds. He might as well pull up 40 feet out. Five on the clock. He's looking to wind it down a little bit. Oh, man. Oh, man. Look at him. Yeah, they're definitely not about to wait now. Chopper for three. Ian Jackson puts it. <laughs> get, your, get your numbers, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your numbers, man. Get your numbers, bro. <laughs> Ian Jackson finishes the game at 29 points. With that put back. 82 to 73. The cold hearts take it. I think a lot, a lot of people might have expected that, but it felt dominant in the second half. I'm not gonna lie to you. How y'all feeling? I feel great, man. I knew I knew Cole Hart was gonna win. I just thought it was gonna be a little closer. Yeah, player of the game is Michael Brown Jr. right here. I know you said you like his game, Jeff. I love his game, man. He's a smooth criminal. But I knew Cole Hart was going to take it. Today, my two picks won. I already knew what was up. All right, man. We're going to have to hear about that until next time. <laughs> 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 hey, appreciate y'all for watching on YouTube. Look, bro, if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe, man. We appreciate the love. Seriously, we'll, uh, thank you for 2023, man. We'll be back 2024 for some more action. It's been your host, Agent Zero, with Duke Dennis and Jeff Teague. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.